Time for baseball of the AAA variety as the show brings you coverage from the International League. Tonight, it's game three of this four-game set between the Buffalo Bisons and the Pawtucket Red Sox. Now to the plate, Anthony Alford. And we are set for baseball here this evening. Buffalo, the right fielder, number 30. Anthony here it comes Alford. lifted down the line and left and no one can First get field. there it's a foul Six ball no breaks is bad as this one's popped up throw oh, not in it. time so he's able to beat one out here to kick off the ball game that accepted the left field. Now a throw over to first. A dive, but he's back. In now, Forrest Wall. As he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. Hard hit towards center. That gets down. He's got himself a base hit. This will kick up against the wall now. And they've really got something going here. Runners at second and third to start the inning. Batting third. The football. Ruben Tejada. Into the box now. Ruben Tejada. As he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. Great chance to drive in a run here in the early going. Change up low. 2-0. In there, two and one. In the air, out to right. Right fielder is on the run, makes the catch, but the runner from third breaks for home. The run comes across to score, and they jump ahead one nothing. Stepping in, Jonathan Davis. The potential second run of the inning stands at third. Here's the first pitch to him. Nope, that's a ball. Ball one, no strike. Now the 1 0. He is swung on and missed in that strike one. And that misses 2 and 1. Just off the inside part of the plate, it's three and one. This is a spot you like to be in as a good hitter. Runners in scoring position and count leverage in your favor. And he misses with one here. It's ball four. So that'll at least bring the double play into the conversation with runners at the corners and one away. Here comes the first pitch. The fastball here is he'll take a look at ball one. One and oh. This is exactly the situation you drew up from an offensive standpoint. Good pitcher on the mound, but you got a chance to bury him early in this one. Catch is made deep in the alley, and here comes the runner from third. And that'll plate their second run of the game as they take a 2-0 lead. That is good. So stepping in, Christian Williams. He did not play last night, but clearly back in the starting nine for this one. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Now a throw over. Runner back safely. Davis is off of first with two away. Now, oh my, this ball is crushed. Look at it go. Gone. At the plate now, Santiago Espinal. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. He definitely doesn't look himself to start this one. And this lineup needs to be on the attack early and be aggressive and find a way to stay in this game. 2 0 now. And he watches this one in there for a high strike. 
There's a strike with the breaking ball. A bouncer up the middle. Fielded cleanly. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as the side is retired. Marco Hernandez steps in. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. The second baseman, Marco. Now here's the pitch. And here's a first pitch curveball that bounces on him there. It's ball one. And he fouls this one off. Now the one and one pitch. And him off balance a bit as this is skied into short left center. Wall comes on and makes the catch in shallow left for route number one. So striding in, Marcus Wilson is back in the starting lineup for this one after sitting out last night's game. First delivery to him on the way. Popped up. Joseph is under it. Two gone. In is the catcher, Jonathan Lucroy. No one aboard for him, and two gone here in the first. And the pitch. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Hey, this is an amazing inning right here. Attacking the zone, keeping his defense invested. Chance to get off the field super quick. And they'll try to bounce a curveball on 0-2, but he holds back. It's 1-2 now. High in the air out to center field. Davis is under it, and he makes the catch for out number three. Next will be the designated hitter, Orelvis Martinez, and he's looking to get it going off to a bit of a slow start this year. High and tight here to begin the inning. It's ball one. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Poelo has the best view of this one, so he'll take it for the first down. So coming to the plate, Vinny Capra. And he's definitely off to a fast start in the early part of the season. And he misses inside with that one, ball one. Two balls and no strikes. And this is why he's struggling right here. He's not able to pound the strike zone early in the count. These guys are finding themselves in serious count leverage situations, and good hitters aren't going to miss. Three and one. Hit down the third baseline, but this will wind up foul as he runs the count full now. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. And he misses here for ball four. Already two walks surrendered in his first couple of innings of work. So it's back to the top of the order now. And that'll bring up Anthony Alford. He's set. Here it comes. Ball one. Runners on first with one down. Ground ball sent back up the middle. He gets dirty, but he can't make the play. It's a base hit. Now that the left fielder, Forrest Wall. So now to the plate, Forrest Wall, as he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls and a strike. And this one's in the dirt. Runners will stay put. However, the count evens at one. One one popped him up. Poelo is there and he makes the catch for the out. And no tag at second. He'll head back there with two away now. 
Into the box, Ruben Tejada, twos all over the place. Two on, two out, and of course, here in inning number two. Lifted into the air out towards center field. And the two-out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. So now it'll be the four-hole hitter, Josh Ackerman, and they've got some work to do early on. Down four, nothing already. First pitch coming. Here it is. Line drive to center field. And that'll get down for a base hit. So he goes after the first pitch, and it's early trouble here this half of the inning. Batting fifth, the third baseman, Bobby Dahlbeck. To the plate now, Bobby Dahlbeck. And he'll look at a breaking ball that misses for ball one. Reed Foley is a strikeout master on the mound. It will not be uncommon to see him reach a double-digit strikeout total when he goes out there. He uses that to his advantage in just about every start. He sure does, Matty B. And I think one of the keys for him is he gets ahead in the count early. You'll know if he's on when he gets strike one, strike two early on, and then he expands the zone, has great command of his pitches, and has a knack for making hitters chase pitches out of the strike zone. At the plate, C.J. Chatham. As he'll take a look at ball one. He's ready for his first at bat of this early season contest. Fouled off. The 1 1. A couple of men in scoring position here with none down. All even now, two and two. From the stretch. Swung on and missed. Really fooled him that time for the first out. Striding forward now is the DH, Nick Longy. He went deep in the contest last night. He set and the pitch. And this is pop foul, but perhaps playable behind first. But this will land untouched. Big spot right here. Got to find a way to get back in this ball game and scratch a run across. Tries to shave the corner with that pitch, but it's one and one. Everyone in the ballpark knows what the pitcher's intentions are in this situation. Great job at the plate to lay off a tough pitch in a good spot. The count now at two and one. From the belt, the pitch. Grounded back up the middle. Reined in. Throw to first is in time, but meanwhile, the runner is in to score. Cesar Puello next. Trying to cash in here in his first at bat with a runner at third and two gone. From the stretch. Swing and a miss, and he's behind 0 1. That's a really nice thing about pitching with the base open. You can work out of the strike zone a little bit more and try to get a guy to chase your pitch just like that one. Behind 0 and 2 now. Nothing in two count and the pitch. And a slider called strike three as he couldn't pull the trigger and the side is retired. Top of the third set to get underway. So here's the cleanup hitter, Jonathan Davis. He drew a walk his first time up. Now here it comes. Rip down the first baseline. But a foul ball here, 0 and 1. And the pitch. Outside, that's the ball. And it's two balls and two strikes now. Line to the right side, but foul. Swing and a miss as he ran the fastball right by him for the first down. 
Now back. Striding into the box. Caleb Joseph comes in 0 for 9 in the series so far, so looking to turn things around in this one. Drops in a strike to start the at bat. Nothing in one. I guess the game plan from the offensive standpoint today coming into this one was they were going to work the counts. They've been super patient at the plate in the early goings of this game, and they've got the lead looking for more. The first baseman, number 23. Christian. Standing in now, Christian Williams. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. Big swing and a miss at the fastball, and he's behind in the count 0 2. Hey, you know the pitcher right now, he's looking for that best friend, that double play ball. This is where you have to really be disciplined at the plate and make sure that you get a pitch that's above the knees that you can get in the air. Got him to chase out of the zone that time. Christian Williams is at number two here in the third inning. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And that's taken for strike one. Hey, the way this guy on the mound's been struggling to find his own, I'm not mad at the guy taking the pitch. Barely able to make contact. Down 0 2 now. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground. He's got it. Throw to first will get him easily and the side is retired. Leading off the inning, Tate Matheny, as they'll look to get something going here and even this game up. Hey, we're still in the early stages in this one. They're only down by a couple of runs, but it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. Now the pitch. Good slider there, gets a swing and miss. Lays off two and two now. Hits softly down the line at first. Throws in time, and that's out number one. Settling in now, Marco Hernandez. He flew out in his last at bat. And with his speed, he's one of those rare guys who you'd actually like to see keep the ball on the ground. You can't beat out a fly ball in this game. One ball, no strikes to count. And maybe a little frustrated on the mound here as the fastball misses for ball two now. It's a lot easier to hit when you're putting yourself in good hitter's counts. This guy's done a great job not swinging at pitcher's pitches. And when he's getting the ball in the zone, he's getting the barrel to it. He's been hot lately. And that fastball's taken but catches the outer third. Popped him up. Espinal is there for it. And he makes the catch for the second out. At the plate, Marcus Wilson, he popped out in his first trip. Yeah, I don't mind him trying to drive the ball in the air, but he can't collapse the backside, and that's exactly what he did in his last at bat. Look for him to stay a little taller and keep that upper half a little bit more over him. Two outs, nobody on, but a base runner here feels like he would really change the complexion of the... Well, the first baseman is under it to make the play, and that retires the side. Striding in, Orelvis Martinez. He's 0 for 1 thus far. One of the keys to securing a win, they want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. Outside target here, and he hits it for strike one. And a pitch down that swung on and sent to second base. Oh, and it eats him up a bit. Throw to first in time, one gone here in the fourth. Stepping into the box, Vinny Capra comes into this one with just one hit in nine tries for the series. Fastball that gets the inside corner, strike one. Hey, you think back to the early innings right there. You thought this guy would have been hitting the showers. A credit to him. He's been able to regroup, find his mechanics, and find a way to stay in this game. And that is swung on and missed. He's down on strikes. And the first two are retired here to begin inning now number four. The right fielder. So the lineup Anthony flips over and digging in. Alford. Anthony Alford. Two hits in two trips for him thus far. 
And they start him out away with a cold strike. Slow grounder to first. Fielded cleanly. A flip to the pitcher covering as that will retire the side. Digging in, Jonathan Lucroy comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. The catcher, Jonathan. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Liner towards second. Leaps high as he makes the catch. Well done. Now batting. Digging in, Josh Akami. He reached on a single in his first truck. Now here it comes. Four to one our score as we play inning number four. Oh, and look out as they brush him back here. It's ball one. And here's a fastball not close as he runs it to two and one now. Now here's the pitch. There's a fastball well off the plate for a ball. Hey, he's had great command all day. Want to see how aggressive he is in the zone with a three ball count. Bases are empty, one man out. Got him swinging. Chased it well out of the zone, and there are two gone. Trying to pick things up where we left off. Bobby Dahlbeck. He'll try to follow up the double in his last half bat with another big hit right here. Good fastball down around the knees there, taken for a strike. Chopped toward the second baseman. And he can't make the play as he overruns it, but that should be scored as an infield single. The relay, the tag, and they'll get him at second. And with that, the side is retired. Stepping in now, Forrest Wall. The left fielder. As he'll take a changeup here for strike one. One for two in the ball game thus far. Hit in the air down the right field line. And foul. The wind up and the 0-2 pitch. I think that pitch is the result of a lot of foul balls. He might have tried to do a little bit too much with it, trying to get him to swing through it. Oh, and while we talked, that pitch got away and ended up hitting him. So he'll head down to first on the hit by pitch. Digging in to try it again. Ruben Tejada, 0 for 1 for him here in this one. First delivery to him on the way. Yank the slider across that time, laid off for a ball. High and deep down the left field line. And this is going to get down. It's a foul ball. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. On one -one. the run, this one in on him, and he can't connect, so he finds himself down 1-2 and two now. Just off the end of the bat, it's a foul ball, and he'll stick around. Working for the punch out and the offering. Swing and a miss on the slider, and that's out number one. Now Stepping in, Jonathan Davis. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. Hey, it's been a little bit of a rough outing for this guy in this one so far. And one thing you can look at if you want to get really picky, less than 60% of his first pitches have been for strikes. And he lays off for a ball, two and one. Hey, after those two breaking balls missed, you have to be sitting on a fastball right here. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. But this will wind up a foul ball, two and two. From the belt, the pitch. Look out, a fastball up near his dome, and that'll wake you up a bit. Well, that'll wake everyone up. 
Anytime you buzz the tower like that, nope. there's reason for people to start getting a little bit edgy. Inside, he misses ball four. Caleb. Caleb Joseph will be his first assignment here as he'll face him with runners at first and second and one gone. From the stretch. Off the plate, ball one. Hit the other way out toward right field. Coelho is there, two down. Now at the plate, Christian now Williams. Back. And we'll see what he can do here with a pair of runners on base and two gone here in the fifth. First offering on its way. Ball one. Hart. A six foot five inch left hander. He throws a four seam fastball, a cutter, a curve, a changeup, and a two seam fastball. And this one's on the inside corner, one and one. Wisely lays off the cut fastball there. It's two and one. Has to be a challenge pitch coming up here. He probably doesn't want to flirt with loading the bases. Lays off the breaking pitch, and it's three balls and a strike. Three and one here. You have to make a good pitch on the mound. Grooving one here rarely works in your favor unless the hitter tries to do too much with it. And that pitch misses for ball four. So some intrigue now as the bases are loaded here with two away. Santiago. Becomes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Fastball catches the black there for a called strike. Fastball here that he started off a bit too far inside. It nearly got him. We can't hear it from here, obviously, but I think someone in the dugout just yelled, wear it, because that could have been a run. Oh, and he can't come up with it. The flip to the pitcher covering as that will retire the side. Riding in once again, C.J. Chatham. He'll start things out in the home half of inning number five. First pitch coming. Here it is. Not where you want the changeup, but he gets away with it for a strike. And the slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. And they'll go off speed here as this pitch misses. It's two and one. Hard liner, but picked up on a hop. And there's one away. To the plate now is the designated hitter, Nick Longy. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. First offering on its way. Not close with the off speed pitch taken for a ball. Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. The 2-0 on the way. Fifth inning here in a 4-1 ball game. Inside for a ball as he falls behind to him here. 3-1. and one. Swing. Strike two. When you get yourself to a 3-1 count and you get a fastball, those are the ones you really want to punish. Couldn't get the bat on it, so we'll see if that comes back to haunt him. Now a changeup is bounced to second. Throw gets him two down. Into the box now. Cesar Puello. He got called out on strikes his last time through. Yeah, he failed to pull a bat off his shoulder in that one, Maddie. Down on three pitches. Pretty much a wasted A-B. This has to be a better effort. Ball one to start the at-bat. And he won't bite at that one either. It's 2-0. Hit high and deep to right center. Center fielder on the run. But it's over his head and it hops the wall for a ground rule double. Into the box now, Tate Matheny as he takes a fastball off the plate for a ball 1-0. 
runner in scoring position with two gone. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Center fielder on the run. He's there to track it down, and that'll end the inning. Ready now, Orelvis Martinez. He's set to lead us off in the sixth inning. The dedicated hitter, Orelvis Martinez. First pitch on its way. Now a swing and an easy fly ball out toward right center. Poelo is there. One pitch, one out. In now, Vinny Capra. He went down on strikes last time up. Yeah, and he didn't put up much of a fight either, Matty. Got to find a way. Can't go down three pitches. I don't care if you're staring at him or swinging at him. You have to find a way to make this pitcher work a little bit harder. One ball, no strikes to count. A ball and no strikes. Here it is. That's a ball. And that one misses upstairs, 2-0. Two, oh. two balls, no strikes. Three and oh now. It'd be great right here if he was able to work himself on base. You got the leadoff hitter on deck, and you know the middle of the order is coming up right behind him. And he takes ball four. So a good job out of the nine hole in getting on base as we go back to the top of the order. Anthony Alford. Here's the first pitch to him. Anthony Alford stands in as he looks at a cold strike. That's a tough pitch right there. Curveball kind of front hit. Your first move is to bail a little bit, kind of not want to get hit by that pitch. I can totally understand him taking that first strike. One ball, one strike to count. The 1-1. One, one. Line drive, and that's a base hit in the center field. And he's safe. Now back. So now to the plate, Forrest Wall. As the first pitch to him is a changeup that can't find the zone. It's ball one. He's working on a one for two game so far. Lifted the other way down the left field line. And that is off the wall, but in foul territory. Foul ball. It's going to be back to some serious T work if he can't put that pitch in play right in his wheelhouse. Here's a foul ball left side, and that'll move it to one and two. To two balls and two strikes now. Props to the hitter right there for laying off with a guy on third. You want to be aggressive, but you have to get a pitch you can drive. Now a swing and a softly hit ground ball. To second for one, but the return throw will be too late, and the run is in to score. On to first, but not in time. He beats it out to keep the inning alive, and the run is in to score. From the belt, kicks and deals. Didn't quite catch the zone there, ball one. And that's right there, and we're even at one. I'm absolutely shocked he took that pitch right there. Right in the wheelhouse, low 90s heater. That's one you got to let go on. Ball taken there. Two and one now. Took a good cut that time. It comes up empty. Two and two. in the air and drifting out to shallow center. Center fielder giving chase. He gets there to make the catch and that ends the inning. Leading off the inning, Marco Hernandez. And they'll need him to get something going here. This one doesn't look good so far. Down by a boatload as we enter the middle innings. It's about time they get something going. And the last thing you want to do is fall behind where you have to score a bunch in the eighth and ninth inning. Runs outside, so it goes to 2-0 oh now. And a good comeback fastball there. It's two balls and a strike. Now the 2-1 pitch. Doesn't hit the target. It's ball three. 
Time to wake up the offense right here. 3-1 count, all in on something over the heart of the plate. High and deep down the left field line. And that is off the wall, but in foul territory. Foul ball. And he takes strike three called on the fastball. One gone. At the plate, Marcus Wilson. He was retired after popping out in his last at-bat. Here comes the first pitch. Hey, this isn't exactly the way you'd like to draw it up. Not throwing a lot of first pitch strikes, but the bottom line is he's getting outs. One and one. Off the plate, one ball, one strike. Is swung on and driven out to right center field. A ball that's well hit. And, oh, he missed a home run by a matter of feet. It's off the wall. And he'll pull into second with one away. Now that is the pitcher. Jonathan Into the box, Jonathan Lucroy. As the first pitch here's a bit high, it's ball one. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. And he won't bite at that one either. It's 2 0. From the stretch, skied into straightaway right. Alfred's under it. Two gone. Ready once again, Josh Ockamy. He was sat Number down on strikes three. in his last at bat. Yeah, but it was a good change up, Matty. Good arm action on that pitch. Look for him to try and stay back a little bit more. Let the ball get a little deeper. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to rush a heater right here. No balls in one strike. Swing and a shot hit down the corner. And that's going to wind up hooking just a bit foul. So a missed opportunity there. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. Got to take advantage of that pitch right there. 0-2 breaker hanging over the heart of the plate. Not going to see too many of those today. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Swing and a miss got him reaching. And the throw to first ends the inning. Jeffrey Springs is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Number 59. Standing in, Jonathan Davis. It was a walk in his last trip. The center fielder. Number 49. Here's the first pitch to him. That's the exact spot to lean on as a reliever. As a hitter, you just have to tip your cap and look for the next one. Try to bunt his way on base here, but this will roll foul. And on 0-2, he misses with a fastball. Fastball swung on and missed as they set him down for the second time here tonight. Now Into the box now, the Caleb catcher. Joseph. Caleb. He's ready. Here's the first offering. You're lucky if you get one pitch a night right down the middle. Cannot be laid on that fastball. Nope. Fastball just misses. That's ball one. One ball, one break. One one pitch is a curveball that misses ball two. And here's a ball hit in the air. Akami has room in foul territory, and no one will track it down. Here now the 2 2. Now a ball pulled hard but foul off to the left. Seventh inning here in a 5 to 1 ball game. Little tardy on that swing as it's well wide at first. Swing and a liner. Foul. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. The 2 2. It was laid off, and the count runs full. 
These last two guys are making him work quite a bit out there. Both have been long at bats, and all in all, he's had to make 13 throws just to them so far. On uh, pitch number 10 is the one that finally does it as he strikes out after a long battle here. First pitch fastball off the plate there, and it's ball one. Well above the letters with the fastball that time. Now the 2 0. It's a fastball that gets by him. Bases are empty here with two men out. Now a curveball here, nowhere close. That's in the dirt. It's three and one. This should end the inning as it's sent out to second. Scooped up. They'll whip this one to first in time, and that ends the inning. Jackson McClellan gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seventh. Last half of the seventh here, digging in once again, Bobby Dahlbeck. He was thrown out at second trying to stretch a base hit into a double in his last at bat. Yeah, I'm not sure what they saw right there. Maybe the first base coach was giving him the green light to go ahead and go to second base, but obviously it didn't work out in that situation. It did take a good throw to get him, though. And the slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. And he'll come back with one in the dirt as the count moves to two and one now. Here's the pitch. Seared down the first baseline. He lays out for it, but he can't pull it in. And he'll pull into second here with nobody out. Now that CJ. At the plate now, CJ Chatham, as he will take a fastball in there at the knees for strike one. Here's a fastball that crowds him a bit, and it's one and one. From the stretch. And this ball runs away for ball two. Two and one. Big sweeping breaking ball right there. Good pitch. But if he wants to get him to swing at it, he'll have to bring it in a little bit closer to the strike zone. And this one's low here, so the count swells to three and one. Good pass at that ball, just a little late, and now the count's full. Now the three and two pitch, and it's fouled away. The next three two. Another one sent foul. Try it again, three and two. Fouled away. Neither guy given in. Here's the next one. Pops this one up. Tejada ranging into the outfield. He makes the catch. A great effort to get there and record the first out of the now inning. The Stepping in and ready for another shot. Nick Longy. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. First offering on its way. Off the plate and away there. One ball, no strikes. A ball and a strike. One and two is the changeup had him out in front there. Takes this the other way to right. That's in there. Base hit. And they won't risk it at third, so they're at the corners now with only one away. Now that is the right field. now. Cesar Puello. And this is popped foul off to the right and back into the seats. He's one for two in this one.
Heading out towards shallow right. Alfred's under it. He's got it, and there are two down now. And he'll think better of trying to score as he holds it third with two away now. Ready for another shot now. Tate Matheny. And their runners at the corners now. Here comes the first pitch. The 1 0. Sent on the ground out to second. He's got it. And that will conclude matters here in the seventh. Josh Joseph is into the ball game now as he'll make his fifth appearance of the season here. All set for the start of the inning. Stepping up to the plate, Santiago Espinal. He was a ground out victim last time up. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Now the 1 0. On the run, this one in on him, and he can't connect, so he finds himself down 1 and 2 now. Osich has seen his role change with those one batter lefty specialists going the way of the dodo as a part of MLB's pace of play initiatives. So he notched the backwards K on that one. Santiago Espino goes down to become the first out in the eighth inning. A ball and no strikes. That evens it up one and one. Five one our score as we play the eighth. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Well, we all know he's not the greatest threat with a bat up there. His numbers certainly aren't that pretty. But hey, I give him credit. He's really working the count right here. And that'll get down out there for extra bases. And he'll reach second now with one away. The third base number one. Vinny Capra. Stepping in now, Vinny Capra, as he takes a cold strike at the knees. It's 0-1. 0 for 1 with a run scored thus far. And he powers a cut fastball by him that time, and he's in charge now. Nothing in two. Tried to get him to go after one below the knees, but it's one and two. On a rope to the second baseman. And it got there so quickly, the runner didn't get very far from the bag. They settled with just the one out. Anthony. Now back to the top of the lineup, stepping in, Anthony Alford. Three for four so far, and seeing it well in this ball game. That just misses off the inside for ball one. One and one to count. off again and now he's in a one and two hole from the belt the pitch and he fouls this one off another two two offering Swing and a little blooper to center. Here's the center fielder. He can't get there, so the inning will continue. Tack on another here as the runner scores from second. Now that Standing in now, Forrest Wall. As he'll take one up in the zone, but indeed in the strike zone for the first strike. And he popped him up. Here comes a left fielder. But he can't make the play as it finds the outfield grass. Now Ruben Into the Tejada. box now. Ruben Tejada. As he'll take a look at a pitch too low. It's ball one. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. Swing and a ball line down in the left field corner. But this is foul near the seats. One and one. Here it comes. Got it, got it. 
and this is popped up near second base. Chatham will put this one away, and the side is retired. Jake Patrichka is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Number 58. So the batting order turns over now and set to go. Marco Hernandez. He could really use a knock here 0 for 3 in the game so far. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle. It's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. 1-0 one pitch on the way. Rip down the line, but a foul ball, one and one. And he takes ball two, and it's two and one. Hit in the air to shallow center. Espinal ranging into the outfield. He's not going to get to it, so the leadoff guy's aboard with a base hit. So now to the plate, Marcus Wilson, as he looks at a fastball on the inside corner for strike one. Now a changeup in on the hands that evens it at one and one. Got to believe the pitcher's going to trust his defense right here. Look for something down in his zone to induce a ground ball double play. Grounder down the line at third. The one two. Is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. So digging in now, Jonathan Lucroy. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. He's set. Here it comes. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. Left fielder giving chase. He gets there and makes the play for the second out of the inning. Stepping up now, Josh Ackerman. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. First delivery to him on the way. Right side, but it's well fouled. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. Now a swing and a little bouncer softly hit to the right side of the mound. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. Colton Brewer enters from the pen to start the ninth inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is heading to the bottom of the ninth. Stepping into the box, Jonathan Davis. He went down on strikes last time up. He's set and the pitch. And look at this, a bunt attempt to start the ninth. Well, this is foul for the first strike. One pitch on its way. And now a curveball that bounces up to the plate. It's one and one. Mine to the right side. Poelo is there, one away. Digging in now, Caleb Joseph. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Here comes the first pitch. Righty against righty as this is taken for a ball. It's 1-0. Oh. A curveball that kind of backed up on him right there. Might have popped out of his hand just a little bit earlier than he intended. Popped him up. Hernandez has a play. Two down. Now at the play, Christian Williams. He launched one over the wall back in the opening frame. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Outside, that's the ball. Now the 1-0. Oh. Ah. Outside, two and one. Those were two great executed pitches right there away from this batter. He can hurt you in a heartbeat. I don't think anything's going to leak out over the heart of the plate. He pulls this one into right, but a little unlucky there as it's hit right to him in right field for the final out of the inning. Right, 
digging in and looking for more. Bobby Dahlbeck trying to keep it going. A perfect three for three thus far. Bobby Dahlbeck. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Hit the other way out toward right field. Alfred's in pursuit. He gets there to make the play for the first out of the inning. Coming to the plate now, C.J. Chatham. No hits in three tries so far. He's struck out once. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. A fastball here as he'll take a look at ball one. One and oh. Two and oh. If you've been paying attention, the guy on the mound does not want to come inside. If I'm at the plate, I'm leaning out over. Mm, pretty good cut there, but it's to two and one now. Boy, what a time to pull the string on him. On 2-0, there's no way anyone's thinking changeup. So if you can locate it, that's pretty much unhittable. The 2-2 is swung on and missed strike three. Now at the plate, Nick Longy. And he needs to make something happen. They're down to their final out here in the ninth. Here's the first pitch to him. Fastball in there for a called strike. Good pitch as this is swung on and missed. And now they're down to perhaps their final strike of the evening. Two mid-90s fastballs and you're down out. Swing and a miss. He struck him out. And that'll do it here as the ball game is over. Hey, a great win for these guys as they wrap up another one. But a little bit of a sour note, though. Everyone has to head home, get on those computers, and get those taxes out before midnight. And tonight's comes to a conclusion. Six to one, the final. The Bisons put up a four spot in the opening frame on the way to victory. Sean Reed Foley gets the win on the mound, his first of the year. So that'll just about do it. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Pleszak, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a presentation of MLB The Show. For more, don't forget to check out theshownation.com.